Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to easily defeat the twin princes. First of all, I'll show you our setup and our character's level. Don't worry too much if you don't have this exact setup and this exact character level. I'm just showing you this so you know what we're using in this video. We're gonna be using the Sharp Cell Sword Twin Blades Plus 10. The Sharp version of a weapon's damage increases with your character's dexterity. We're also using the Grass Crest Shield on our backs for increased stamina regen. Flynn's Ring, which increases our attack when our equipment load is lower. Pontiff's Right Eye, which boost attacks as long as attacking persists, Lloyd's Sword Ring which increases our attack when our HP is full, Chloranthi Ring for increased stamina regen, and we'll also be using some Lightning Resin for increased damage. They're weak to Lightning damage so use some Lightning Resin if you do have some, but if you don't, don't worry too much about it. You can apply your Lightning Resin before you walk down the stairs and activate the cutscene. There's a few different ways that we can do this fight so I'm going to cover all of them in this video. As the fight starts you can actually lock on to Lorien, so when Lorien teleports the lock on will actually stay locked on. Using this technique you can find out where Lorien is going to teleport. In this first phase what the best thing to do is to dodge through his attack and then attack just one time. Attacking just one time will allow you to prepare for his next attack and then roll through that and then rinse and repeat. Lorien can do a number of different attacks and essentially with this you just dodge through and then attack one time. If you feel that you can safely put in some additional attacks then definitely go for it. It's usually safer just to do the one attack however and then roll through his next attack. If he does his move where he teleports quite far away he'll charge up and then do a sword slam into the floor. You can run towards him whilst he's doing this and then roll through the sword slam. It then gives you some time to put in some attacks after he recovers from doing this. What I'd also suggest doing is when his health starts getting low is try to pull him towards the entrance door. This is because we're going to use a technique in phase two that will make things a lot easier. I'm also just going to cover some different ways that we can handle phase one here. What you can do here is as the fight starts is just run towards the entrance door. This will then force Lorien to do a teleport port and then two sword swings. You don't even need to point your camera at Lorien to avoid this. If you listen carefully you'll hear a teleport and then sword swing one and then sword swing two and that cycle will just repeat. So listen for the teleport, roll on sword swing one, roll on sword swing two and then get in one attack after that. If you rinse and repeat this, you'll take him out without breaking a sweat. If you want to push it a step even further, you can actually homeward bone out of the arena at the start of the fight and then make your way back to the fog wall and then you're instantly at the fog wall at the start of the fight. So you won't even need to avoid Lorien as you run towards the door because you'll already be at the door. So that's the different ways that you can handle phase one. In phase two, it's pretty much exactly the same apart from you'll need to dodge Prince Lothric's magical attacks at the start of phase two. So as phase two starts, make sure you're near the entrance door. Listen carefully for Prince Lothric's magical attacks. When you hear the magical attacks start to shoot towards you, make sure to keep dodge rolling left and right. Eventually the magical attacks will stop and Lorien will be doing his teleport sword swing one, sword swing two. After you've dodged the magical attacks, you may also have time to apply some extra lightning resin. So feel free to apply the lightning resin as well if you can do. And then with this phase two, just do exactly as you did with phase one. Listen for the teleport, dodge through sword attack one and two, and then get Get in one attack of your own. Usually it's quite common that Lorien will die before Lothric. If that is the case, just make sure to kill Lothric before he revives his brother. With enough practice, time and patience, you'll have this fight mastered in no time. You remain among the accursed. Hopefully you found this guide useful and it helped you out in some way. If it did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments section below if you've got any questions or queries. Since you're here, I'm guessing that you might enjoy video games. Well, as it happens, I also enjoy video games and so does the Azovar Army. Feel free to come and hang out during one of our live streams over on Twitch TV. We've also got an Azovar Army Discord server. Links to those can be found in the video description. So hopefully we'll see you there. We talk about and we love video games a lot. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, we'd love to have you on board. These videos do take a lot of time and effort to create, so what would be really cool is if you do give this video a like, that's what will send the video out into the YouTube universe, ultimately allowing me to continue to content create and to content create more often. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care. Oh my good friend.
Beep, 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 beep. Ooh.